Hi. Let us try to understand in this session as to how a silicon control electrifier, this is silicon control electrifier, how a silicon control electrifier in short we call it SCR works. It can be used in DC, it can be used in AC also for the time being we have started with the DC part of it. And the DC part what we see is we have taken a 12 volt battery and then we have taken a switch and then a push button switch here, another push button switch here and a gate arrangement and a load connected in series with the SCR and load cathode means they load connected. You see all of us know that the silicon control electrifier once triggered that means once the current flows through the gate to the cathode this is cathode this is anode okay. So, once the current flows from the gate to the cathode then only this conducts otherwise it does not conduct unlike a diode you give this side positive this side negative conduct. People call it forward bias, reverse bias, let us not go into go those uh, typical words um, to get confused. A diode or an SCR whatever it is as a diode, current flows this way, current does not flow this way that is all. So, they call it forward bias and reverse bias. So, they means our good engineers they call it forward bias, reverse bias only to confuse people with high sounding words. There is nothing great in that it is only current flows this way current does not flow this way. Okay. Right. So, now coming to the SCR, this is the gate, what I said the current has to flow in the gate to cathode for this to allow the current flow this direction. Now, how the current will flow once the gate is triggered? It will start from positive this way, this way, goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. Because there is no other path, this path is open by the switch and this also and how it flows only when the gate current flows. Now, we will see that. Sorry. What is happening? Right. Now, let us see the positive is uh, denoted by a red line, the negative is by blue line and what I said that yes, once I trigger this, only trigger means I pass the current once and then I can remove it. Like for example, when I press this and I removed it, you see once it was triggered now the current starts flowing. There is no current flowing in the gate now, because once I have triggered, triggered means I have allowed a current to flow in the gate and the cathode, the SCR behaves like a diode, it conducts. right? Then when can it stop? It should stop also. The stop arrangement can be done by two methods. One is I momentarily open this and then close again. Now, see the current stops. I have momentarily opened it and I close it again and the current stops. Now, unless I trigger it again, it does not flow. I have trigger means I have just passed for a brief period the current in the gate to the cathode. So, this follows again. It can also in this conducting stage also it can be switched off. How? I apply a negative voltage, I have taken a one cell battery which is 1.5 volts. I have taken a negative connection in the sense, see when the current is flowing this side is positive, this side is negative. Now, if I apply a voltage in the reverse direction, this side positive and this side negative to this switch, what will happen? This SCR will perforce go to off. Now, let us see that. You see, now the SCR again has gone to, though this path was there, the SCR has again gone into out of conduction. Let us see it again. Let us see this. Current flows, stops. flows or flows momentarily I have made it stops. This is what is here, there is nothing great in this particular component, 
but when we use it for AC applications then things are different. We will see that uh, in uh, subsequent slides. Let me go over to this. Hi. Now, let us see the same thing when we use it in AC. We have an AC supply here same arrangement we have a lamp course and we have a 100 ohm resistor here let this let this be off condition ok the same thing same situation now let us see how it works in AC right I have connected a CRO what CRO I have connected a CRO at the this point I connected a CRO to this point channel 1 is connected to this point. So, I get AC supply here right and we know it can conduct only when the positive this side is positive this side is negative as if in a half wave rectification. So, when I trigger this or I, when I pass the current through the gate to cathode or I keep it pressed you see this blue line which you find here is the half wave which is going and if you like to see it better and we can even put it down yeah now you can see this is my half wave which I am getting because I have triggered it I have triggered it permanently that means every time every pulse is coming the current is flowing between gate to cathode ok let us now see if I momentarily press it and release it. Or right, it's only when the current flows continuously because every positive half cycle the current flows from gate to cathode and then one is there. And when this comes to zero, when the supply comes to zero, obviously the current through the SCR comes to zero it goes out of conduction from when this side becomes positive and this side becomes negative. That means, from here to here this side is positive, this side is negative. So, this and uh, same situation we have it in conduction mode and if I apply a voltage here you see the full voltage appears across this and which because this this conducts directly as compared to the other DC circuit that way at so on. Anyway, so the objective of this is that how it behaves in AC and how it behaves in DC has been clarified. Thank you.